Hello everyone, and welcome back to Revit Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. Today's lesson will address one of the most common questions in Revit, and that is why isn't my family cutting? For example, here I have two seemingly identical families. This one here, a kitchen island object, and the second one here, also a kitchen island. If I go to here, that's the section view we have on the right there. You can see one is cuttable. You can see it's back panel, front panels, drawers, even the sink, all cut up and presented nicely here. However, this other kitchen island, if I take this view to wireframe, I can see that it's identical in terms of components. All the panels are there, the sinks is there too. But when I take this back to hidden line mode, we only see the side face of the object as if we're looking from here, not through this section line. Let's see now how we can make sure the object is cuttable, just like the other one. By the way, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe now, because we do tutorials like this every single week. Alright, now to understand what's going on here, we need to go to Google and just type in Revit Cuttable Families. The first result should be what you need. Let's open it now. It's a short article about different families in Revit and whether they are cuttable or not. Long story short, Autodesk decided that some Revit family categories should be cuttable, which is the one you have there. Others shouldn't be cuttable, and that's why they always show their side faces, even if you are cutting through them. To know which category are there, you need to scroll down. And here is the full list. In this column, cuttable categories, all of those, from baluster to casework to floors, all the way to windows. If you have families belonging to those categories, they will cut as you expect in Revit sections. So let's see what category is this one under. When I select it, you can see that is furniture system. If I go back to the list now, we don't see furniture or furniture system in this list, and that's why it's not cuttable. To make it cuttable, we need to change it to one of those categories here. And let's go for how about generic models. That's usually the safest choice. Back to Revit, I can go to Edit Family now. Go to Family Category and Parameters and change this from Furniture Systems to the one below it, Generic Models. Click OK to confirm and we can now load this back into the project. And there we go. Now it's cuttable just like the other one. Really simple when you know what Revit is doing. Alright, if you enjoyed this tip, make sure to subscribe to this channel because we do tutorials like this every single week. For now, have a good day and I'll see you in the next lesson.